I just went through the HSB 254 list of uh, lobbyists and uh, there was five of them for this bill, 16 undecided and 17 against. So I don't know who these people are that are against this that are Iowans. I don't I don't know if they're from Iowa. Can a, does a lobbyist have to be from the state or can they be from anywhere? I mean, in federal, I'm guessing they can be from anywhere. But it, I think if you're a lobbyist, you'd have to be from the state to lobby against a state bill. I don't think there's any other any other way that. I mean, unless they unless they've just allowed anybody. And that's what they're worrying about, that freaking New York guy, or whatever, whoever he is. I don't know why he, anybody would listen to somebody from New York. This ain't New York, this is Iowa. But I just looked through the list of lobbyists, and that's how it stands. It's 17 against, 5-4, and uh, 16 undecided. So all those undecided are going to have to, well, I guess they're just lobbyists, but I'm just saying that's that's... That's what uh, I've been trying to trying to find my district or whatever area that to to who to send uh, to vote for this if they're if the Constitution to carry I can't find it the wording in it I mean it says deemed uh, I was reading where the wording was uh, it's the beginning of it was uh, what the heck was it saying something about uh, how it is now that to you need a permit to purchase and a permit to carry or something like that to get a pistol. And it says that's now deemed not good enough or it's not that's not the wording but that's how it's I'm taking it. Is it, is it now, it it's almost sounds like they're having to upgrade. You know, they're saying constitutional carry, but the wording sounds like they're trying to have to upgrade. I don't know what it would be to get the training or whatever it is. This is, this is in, you know, this, uh, they, this needs to be clear and present clarification, not some run together a bunch of words that some lawyer came up with and says, oh yeah, well this is what we're thinking. Yeah, well, you need to print it. We don't we don't have to run this on thought. I know the government wants to, you know, control thought, but I don't I don't want them doing that. And I want the what's it's already in print though. I mean we got the Second Amendment. But what they're trying to do is infringe it with laws. And so in other words if you if you exercise your right they're trying to make so many laws against it that you know how do you you know how do you fight something that they just you know it's like uh, the government only acknowledges laws and the citizens acknowledge rights so you know that, that that's how it is we acknowledge we have rights they acknowledge they have laws and <clears throat> they don't follow our rights and they're claiming we don't follow their laws. So that's that's what I'm seeing. It's this is this is uh this cat and mouse with our rights and the wording of laws and everything else. You know, if a government wants to write laws, let them obey them. We have our rights. That's that's how I am. And I'd like to get rid of the sixteenth amendment. Since uh as far as I'm concerned, government is living on our dollar to infringe us of our rights. You know what? They can't get a job. They, you know, it's all it's all about. God, this this is ridiculous. I can't believe people just. I mean, you read that. Read the bill. Man, 